All righty, there you go. Fucker Zaman is back in the side. Loving it. I tell you what, Kane Williamson, he's called correctly. They're going to bat first, the Kiwis. Oh, there's your sighter, and it's gone all the way. This time around, the ball sort of slanting away from him, and he just planted his front leg and just gave it everything. Help win the game for the Black Caps. And it's a fairly quick outfield, but there was a little fingertip to it. Oh, a little escort agency there, all the way to the fence, but I think they've done well. Oh, he's got enough of this. Shot of a length, planting his front leg, and then just hitting it over Medon. The weight going forward. It sounded pretty good as well. And is. It's all cross batted, but he's just keeping so still and hitting it so nicely. Ah, yes. Stand and deliver. So, yeah, he's going to not spare that because Midoff is up in the circle. All he need to do is just to go over the top, clear that offside fielder. Is that fat? And tonking him over mid-off. Look at the weight going into the shot. That's the beauty of that stroke. Change of pace. And some lovely timing once again from Colin Monroe. If you give him the room, he's not going to spare you. Right in the middle of the two fielders, although the boundary is big on that side, but that was hit hard. Inside edge, inside edge. The good sound, the good sound, yes. But the pace tried to turn it away on the onside, but it was Chain Shafridi who got his man. It's a bit of a clip into the onside, get a couple of runs, but the bowling coach, isn't he, at the moment? Oh, yeah, that'll be out. That'll be out, little inside edge, I think it went back onto the pads. Never bowled a no ball, he's not about to start, and that is pretty conclusive. Yeah. At the crease, bring the power of Colin de Grandom into the middle. Good running. Straight down the ground, got enough of it or not, de Grandom, no he hasn't, and that's well taken. And... Colin de Grandhomme right at the bottom of the bat, bat twisting in his hand, ball not arriving. Trev Malik, he is brilliant. The green machine, and they're so difficult at home, and look at this. And that's that's been pretty consistent with Abu Dhabi as well, so that's what we're trying to look to get around about that score, and I think we'll be in the game then. Hustle through for a little single here. No, they'll get two, coming back! I reckon it's all over, Red Rover. Back upstairs to you, gentlemen. It was Asif Ali with a throw. It was flat, it was hard, it was on target. Right over the top of the stumps and beautifully taken on the pull by Shada. Well, we just spoke about a little bit of confusion in the running of the New Zealand camp throughout this innings. And unfortunately for New Zealand, they lost a wicket through that way. That's gone up in the air into the gap for four. I think he picked up the slow ball very early. It was just the length, that short side of the ground for Corey. He's not going to turn it down when it's on offer. A swivel pull between deep square leg and deep mid wicket. Big shot once again into the gap and four. Again, Fahim Ashraf just missing his length, trying to change the pace. Over the top from Williamson. Oh, he might have pick up another one here. He will. Lovely placement. The Friars is not happy with the Shadab for flighting the ball. This, this was well flighted. Got to the pitch quite nicely. Kane Williamson. And he's so good. He loves that area over that extra cover. Gets that and gets it well, does Anderson. That's the power he's got. 
misses his mark by a minimal amount, Hassan Ali. Ready for it, he just met, read his mind quite quite nicely and, and got under the ball. Hit it really had a, he went really flat and far. Short gap for back-to-back -back boundaries. He's getting to the base of the pitch, finding the gap. They need few more of those to get a good total on the board. Middle order with the bat. Oh, four more. Look for the Yorker, tried to cramp him. Anderson was up to the mark. Well, there was nothing wrong with the delivery. I thought it was a very good delivery right there on the, on the pads and wasn't there to be hit for four. This went through the legs. In the air, should be taken, is taken comfortably. He went more toward offside, he wanted to hit there. He timed it too nicely. He never wanted to time that well. Pakistan never a mixed bag when you talk about the fielding today. Umpire wanted to check the no ball, there's no issue there. Hit away through the offside from Tim Seifert. Trying to get the Yorker in once again, got it wrong. And Seifert putting it away, hit it really hard. Oh dear, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone for six. This is wide of off stump and it's a slower ball. How's he done that? I mean, it's hit the bottom edge of the bat as well and still gone for six. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Watch out, security man. He's made the difference. Seifert pushed for two or they'll just leave Anderson on strike. No, he will. He'll come back for two. Pulls out the dive. Over the keeper. That's what Tim Seifert can do and it's gone all the way as well. That he was looking for that Yorker and uh, got under it and stayed very low, got moved more toward the offside. And power as well. Not enough though, not enough. Straight up, yeah. Although he's in the slot, but because of his height, he gets that extra bounce. Yeah, toe end of the bat. Went up in the air for a long time. Shadab, a wonderful fielder, great hands. No problem for him. Pace. Steal one and Sally will be run out. Yeah. Good delivery. Quicker delivery. But to look at Safraz. He was quick and throwing. He knew this was going to happen. And uh, flicking it back onto the stumps, Shain Shah. Oh, he got length. He got length. They'll have to go two. Push hard. 150 comes up. With one ball remaining. Swung away into the leg side. There'll be another two. And that'll be the end of it. So just the one boundary from the spell of bowling from Shaheen. That was the first ball of his last over that went for six. And he's bowled four overs, three for 20. Outstanding performance from the young man. Gets off the mark with a four new ball slightly slippery may have just slipped out of the hands and it races across the turf for four there's another one just like the other one look at how he plays this what a straight bat he's just throwing the hands through the ball knows exactly where he wants to hit it because he's got a little bit of width inside edge and four Again, a little bit of shape from Tim Southey. Too close to cut. But he gets away with it. Into the gap and four. That's well timed and in the end, well placed. Look for variations. Quality. Just gives himself a little bit of room. We talked about no width. Scouting reports, no width to... Oh, that is massive! Muscled, bludgeoned, it's the top tier. He was able to get under and just swivel beautifully here. That was what it was all about, it was 
neither here nor there as far as the delivery was concerned. Not short enough, not full enough, and fucker Zaman. Cracked into the gap and four. But it's there, isn't it? It's just length from Adam Milne, unfortunately. Timing and placement, no chance for the New Zealand fieldsman. Up in the air, and brilliant, Williamson! You've got to be kidding me! In the gully, usually see it in the white clothing. This time, in the coloured clothing, so often finds himself at mid-off. Brilliant, brilliant. Dubai International Cricket Stadium. It's time for uh, Colin de Gronholm to step a centre stage and disappear. Barbarazum will hit those to the fans all day. Four start. And all night. Can't bowl Irish, because that's what happens. Yeah, slowness of the pitch, he could hit it anyway. It's Sodi. May pick up his first wicket, he slipped, and he's grusted. New Zealand. Well, that might be the opportunity in the game that New Zealand might look back on and wish they made better use of it. And Apesh into the gap that is well placed and magnificently timed. A little bit of pressure on the batsman, but take nothing away from Barbara Zam. It's a wonderful shot up and over cover for four runs. That's gone up in the air, and it's a solid connection for six. But he got that one out of the screws. There's that lead cutter from Tim Southey. Now says Ali climbs all over that, over deep mid-wicket. Short boundary that side on his leg side. Up in the air, and gone at mid-off. Huge wicket for New Zealand. This is why Tim Southey was brought back into the attack by Kane Williamson. He's got the huge breakthrough of Barbara Azam. Relatively straightforward catch. And he decides to turn this into Fat City. Oh, don't worry about Dubai. Wonderful use of the feet, slow delivery, picked it very nicely. And uh, he loves that area, that mid on area, mid wicket area. Wonderful hit. 92 meters earlier this year. And uh, Hassan Ali wanted to hit another six, hit him on the back leg, Asif Ali. That sounded pretty sweet! Oh, yes! In the last couple of months, he doesn't hold back. He likes to go big. And that's a massive hit. Crowd amping more. And one more! And so does Hafez! If you please! Oh. Great with the stroke. Good balance, great balance. In the middle of the bat, timing was superb. Oh, just shy. Phillips. Was never carrying that one. Did well to keep his body behind. Guess what? There, that's what. It's gone all the way. Fashwe Malik. What a hit. And boom! Down the throat of Phillips. There is the wicket. De Gronholm was waiting for that delivery to come. Yeah, easy catch. No problem there. But can this wicket make a difference? Oh, he went Yorker again. Got to be one. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, the throw was awry. Oh, super striking! Mohamed Afraz, take a bow. Uppercut of delight. 11 series in a row. For the green machine.
Yeah. Simply too good here for the Black Caps in Dubai, as they were in Abu Dhabi a couple of nights ago. All the experience comes into play. Just gave himself a little room and just hit it that, that through that cover region. Two sides. Congratulate. Commiserations to those in black and grey. The series is gone. So we've got another game here on Sunday, of course. Sunday night. Same venue. And, uh, New Zealand. I want to try and... Uh, more improvement before the uh, 350 over games. Waka, here's the finale. Yeah, very steady. Eyes were lit up as you saw the length ball and uh, just crisp it through that. Uh Cash award of 1,15,000 goes to Shahin Shah Afridi for his brilliant bowling performance. Three wickets.